Last person on the flight. <laughs> they took my blade skateboard off me though. in Sydney, Australia last night after a long, 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 long travel from Taipei, Taiwan. They've taken my skateboard off me. They wouldn't let me go through Taipei Airport with it, so now I have to walk everywhere, unless I can get one in Australia. Penny boards aren't made in Australia, so there's hope. Um, today is gonna be a very chilled out day, just see some of the views. You got the Harbour Bridge behind me there, Sydney Opera House just there. Don't know if you can see it in this shot. No, you can't. Guys, live your dreams, because dreams are experiences you have not lived yet. I feel more out of place in Australia than I do in Taiwan, Taipei, because everyone is wearing coats here and I am just like, oh, it's summer, vest, that'll do. Places, but I did promise to come here to my dad because he is like he loves a TV show apparently. Uh, he said I have to come. So dad, just get on a plane, go to Australia, live your dreams, and do it yourself. But I've had a lovely swim. The sea is actually colder than currently in England at the moment in Bournemouth, but hey ho, I love swimming and it's gotta be done. Live one life, live an exciting life. As this is quite possibly the last of my travel of the year and I go back to normality in life, this year has been all about growing, experiencing things and learning. And on that note, how to learn anything in five simple steps. Step one, is this something you really want to learn? Is it an itch that just really needs to be scratched? Or is it just a half-assed idea? To find out, close your eyes, dream it. Think of every possibility that this thing you are going to learn can do for you, for others. I say dream it because dreams are experiences yet to be lived. And if you can dream it, you can experience it. Step two, become obsessed. An obsessed person will not give up. Think it, dream it, talk about it to anyone who wants to listen, show anyone who wants to see, and teach it to anyone who wants to learn. Step three, time management. Remember, everyone learns at different speeds. Some people prefer to spend the whole day learning at one go, some people prefer short bursts, 20 minutes, that's it. Find out which one you are. Remember, there is no wrong way, only a right way for you. Step four, habit. 
This is crucial. Get your brain into the habit. The first thing you do before you go to bed, learn. First thing you do when you wake up, learn. Change the habit that's currently holding you back from reaching your full potential. We all overindulge on Facebook, TV, video games, whatever it is. Stop that now, change that habit, focus that time on the thing you want to learn. The more time you have to learn, the better. People you see that are masters of what they do spend their time learning what matters. Step five, smile at every bit of progress. Enjoy that sense of achievement. Cherish it, because that is what to learn is. There's an old saying that goes like this, practice makes perfect. Then there's also another saying, nothing is perfect. And this is the beauty of perfection. It is not achievable. And this means that we can just keep on learning, achieving, and growing. So I have one final thing to say, never stop learning. Until next time guys, keep smiling, peace out.